Yeah, welcome back to your YouTube channel again. So in this tutorial video, learn how to troubleshoot and fix the issue of your account with the same name as an inactive directory. Reusing the account was blocked by security policy. So to fix the issue, we can follow the some simple instruction on the screen. So let's start this tutorial. Here the first solution we have to do a rename the computer and join using a different account that doesn't already exist. So first we have to rename the machine. Well, simple you have to right click on the PC and going to my computer icon and then you have to extract in a file explorer and then you have to select properties from the context menu and click on the change setting next to the computer name and then click the change button I enter a new computer name and then click ok so you have to restart a computer after the changes to take effect so join using a different account name first you have to window plus i and go to setting app in the second you have to account and navigate to the access work or control so like i'm showing you window plus i then they are the account then click on this and now in account we have to go to access work your or school so scroll down and then here they are the and then click on this and then we have to click like I am not connected to this because what when you find you have connect you have to disconnect the, the other icon so disconnect then after disconnect you have to click yes to disconnect to confirm the for the on system prompt and then repeat the step one and two then click on the connect button again so that's how after you have to next you have to try one or two attempt then after you have to connect to button try and then click the join the device to a local active directory domain link so these are the link which they will provide email customer account and now there are the options is join the device to a local active directory domain so you have to type in the domain name given by your network administrator when prompted and seek necessary permission on the add an account page you have to click the skip button and then you have to restart your pc when instructed and log in you using a, the new account name so these are the solution to first so now move to video then we have to go into solution to configure the new group policy setting first we have to navigate to computer configuration policies windows setting then security setting then local policy and then security option so double click on the domain controller allow computer account reuse your during domain user then you have to select the define the policy setting and then you have to click on the edit security and use the object picker to add trusted users or a groups who are computer account created and owners of the allow permission it is recommended to use group for permission avoid adding large group i like authentication users or everyone instead limit membership to a specific trusted user and service amount then you have to wait for the group policy repress interval or run the group update force on all domain controller now move to solution third to remove the key or set it to zero if you have previously deployed the net join legacy account use key on your client and then you have to set it to value first you must know your remove that key so you have to set it to the zero benefit from the latest changes introduced by a cv 2022 then simply you have to there window plus r and then there are two you have to type a rigid in a run dialog like i'm the so then after there you have to type there then after you have to hit the enter button so then there you have to allow this tail but you can't see so because this is of the privacy policy so but i'm showing you there the interface say yes or no so you have to click on the yes then after add your legacy key exists so either remove it or set to value zero so change the registry editor and restart a computer for the changes to take effect then we have to move to solution 4 to uninstall the problematic KB5, KB5020276 window update. So you have to simply window plus I am going to in your setting. Then navigate to window update tab and then click on the update history and then click on the uninstall update button. So you have to select the KB5020276 update from the list and then you have to click on the uninstall and wait for the process to complete. So restart your PC to finalize the installation of your update. So these are simple solutions you have to take when you take the problem of this of your account. So thank you for watching video. I hope you like it. And we will catch you in the next video.